Let's go to page 224 and let's do number 303. Okay, so the sum of the length of all the edges of the cube is 144. Okay, so uh, first you have to realize a cube, it has 12 edges. So 12 edges and, and this is equal to 144. So that means, um, so you divide by 12, so each side is equal to 12. So E equal to 12. And when you have a square, okay, so if this is E, the, the, if a two dimensional, this would be square root of two, uh, square root of two times e. So if it's three dimensional, then the diagonal will equal to twelve square root of three. Okay. So again, if it's two dimension times by square root of two, three dimensional, it times by square root of three, and that's it. Okay, let's go to three or four. Okay, so you have a sheet of paper that's 5 by 8. And you're going you're gonna to roll it into a cylinder. Okay? And you're looking for ratio of the volume. So when you roll it, you can, the, the taller one, tall cylinder to the volume of the, okay, so you, you have this one over here, the tall one with circumference, so when you roll it, right, the circumference equal to 5 and the height equal to 8. The other one, when you roll it, okay, the circumference equal to 8 and the height equal to 5. Right, okay, when you, so this is, so if you put a paper this way and you roll it, it's become like this, right? Okay, so you're looking for the ratio of the volume. Okay, so from here, the circumference equal to 2 pi r, okay, and so, uh, and, and the circumference is 5, so 5 equal to 2 pi r. So this one, the radius is equal to 5 over 2 pi. Okay. And since these are small radius, I use the small r. Okay, this one over here, the circumference equal to 2 pi r. Okay, uh, this is a bigger radius, so I'm using the capital R. Okay, and so uh, 8 equals to 2 pi r. So big R equals 8 over 2 pi. Okay, so R equal to 4 over pi. Now once you find R, you can figure out the volume, right? So I'm going to use a small v for the volume. So the volume of the center will be pi r squared times h. And this is a high, this is a bigger uh, bigger number, so I'm going to use calculator. And this one, the, the V equal to pi r squared h, okay? So this is a big h, and this is a small h. Okay, so this V would be pi, and r is five over two pi, and I'm gonna write it out twice so I can do cancellation, and h is eight. And the the big V would be pi, r is 4 over pi, 4 over pi, and the small h is 5. Okay, so the pi cancels out, and the 2, 2 is 4, I cancel with a, would give you 2. So the small v would be uh, 50 over pi. The big one, the bigger volume is cancel, and so you're gonna get 80 over pi. Okay. And the ratio, so the ratio would be 50 pi, 50 over pi to 80 over pi. And cancel that out and divide by 10, so you got 5 to 8. Okay, okay let's go to 305. Okay, so 305, how many triangular faces does a pyramid with 10 edges have? Okay, so you have, you have a shape that's 10 edges, right? And it, is, and it is a pyramid. Therefore, you're going to get five uh, base edges. And you're going to get five 
natural edges. And therefore, so they're going to be five edges along the side, and therefore there would be five faces, five triangular faces. Okay, and that's it. Okay, five triangular faces. Okay, let's go to three or six. Okay, the three or six the picture is giving. So you have a cube. And it's connected to the midpoint of each edge. Uh, oh wait. Uh, I messed it up. Okay. It's done here. Okay, so this is M L K J N O. Okay, so you try to figure out the ratio of the area of the hexagon to the ratio uh, to the total surface of the cube. Okay, so notice that there's no numbers given, and, and when you deal with ratio and there's no number given, you can just put in any number. Okay, so if you just make each side equal to two. Okay, so that means this would be a one one. This would be one one. Okay, and this would be one one. Okay, and this would be one one. So basically, what you have is you have a hexagon with a side of square of two on each side. Okay, so that's what you have. So this is the M L K J. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So once you get the figure out, now the rest of it is fairly easy. Okay. So. Um, so to figure out the area. So area of the hex gun. Would be okay. So what you want to do is you're going to just cut into triangles. Okay. And so this would be square root of two over two. And this would be square root of three times because this is a 30 60 spatial triangle, right? When you cut, so it'd be square root of six over two. Okay, so hexagon, the area would be one half base of the triangle times the height of the triangle. Okay, and there are six of them, so times by six. Again, there are six triangles. So area of the hexagon would be. Uh, Okay, I'm going to, okay, so this cancel with that. This cancel will give you square root of 2, and square root of 2 cancel with that will give you square root of 3. Okay, so this gives you 3 square root of 3. Now, area of the cube is fairly easy. So the, the cube would be, each side is equal to 2, so it would be 2 times 2 for one face, and there are 6 of them times 6 faces. Uh, so the cube would be 24. Okay, so the ratio would be this over this. So, so the ratio equal to 3 square root of 3 over 24. And you cancel and reduce. So the answer would be square root of 3 over 8. Okay, let's go to 307. Okay, so the surface area of a cube is numerically equal to twice its volume. Okay, so the surface area of the cube is equal to twice its volume from the length of diagonal of the cube. Okay, so surface area would be 6x squared. Like, and if, if you, you have a cube, 
and you can just label each side equal to x. Okay, so the total surface area would be six x squared, and twice the volume would be x cubed. Okay, and now because we know that x cannot equal to zero, so it's okay to divide by x squared. Okay, so you got six equal to two x, so x equal to three. Once you find x equal to three, to figure the diagonal, so diagonal would be just the square of uh, times the each side by square root of three. So diagonal would be three square root of three. Okay, and that's it. Okay, let's go to three o eight. Okay, find the radius of the right circular cone. If the volume, so volume is 1.5 times its lateral surface area. So lateral surface is LA. And its radius, so it tells you that the radius is half of its slant height. Okay, so if you so if the if this is half of that, okay, then this would be 30, 60 spatial triangle. So H so H will equal to square root of three times R. Okay, again, because this because this is half of the slant height and this is right triangle, therefore this is a 30, 60 spatial triangle. So therefore the height would be the long leg would be square root of three times that. So now let's go and do the volume. So volume of the cone would be pi r squared times h so pi r squared is a circle times h will give you the cylinder and the cone will be have one third okay and equal to 1.5 times the lateral area the lateral is is the size so if you open it up okay it becomes like this over here okay and so this is 2 pi r and think of it as a triangle so the area would be one half base would be 2 pi r times the height Okay, that's a, that's the height, right? Uh, L. Okay, again, if you open up, think of it as like a triangle. It it it, it works also. Okay, it, it still work. Okay, so then you can start to substitute. So you got one third pi r squared, and h is square root of three r equal to, and this cancels out. And 1.5, I'm going to make into 3 over 2, pi r, and L, okay, from here you can see R L equal to 2 r, okay. Okay, so let's see what we got. Uh, let's get rid of the pi. So we have um, square root of 3 over 3, r cubed equal to, this cancels out, equal to 3r squared. Again, because we know that r can equal to 0, so we're going to divide by r squared. Okay. So I got 3 square, square root of 3r over 3 equal to 3. And then to solve for r, so r will equal to 9 over square root of 3. And to simplify, so r equal to... Uh, 3 square root of 3 and that's it